Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. Oh, yeah. That's right. You know it's gonna be a good day when the first thing you see is a f***ed up truck. We're gonna talk a little bit more about my f***ed up truck. Once I back out of my driveway without hitting anything. I've done it before, I'm not gonna do it again. So I sent Mr. Jake the Toilet Snake a text message this morning and asked him if he wanted to work on our project that we are currently working on, not the Gator, something totally, totally opposite of the Gator, but you guys have not seen it yet and you guys will not see it until it's finished because all my other projects are unfinished, so I'm going to finally deliver a finished product. All right, I made it to Jake the Toilet Snakes. I got my hands filled with merch. Seth does not have any merch yet, so I want to hook him up. And no, these hats are not available yet. This is still the prototype. You guys are jamming out? What's up? You can't have music on. You're gonna copyright your video. Is, is that a new addition to the shop? The music? That's us. Just us phones. Great. My camera's broken. Well, here you go, Seth. But even with a broken camera, here's some merch, buddy. Oh, thank you. What's wrong with your camera? Hey, let me ask you guys a question. Did you guys see yesterday's video? Man, getting sick of the clickbait. Yeah, yeah, yeah stuff like that. It's so if not it's total, not... Total would be going to the scrapyard. Oh, okay, but let's break down each part, like the bumper, okay? It's too far gone to replace it. So what is it called? Total. What about the rear fender? Like that whole rear panel. Yeah. It's too much to pull out, so oh, it's yeah, total. It's just the snowflakes. They take everything so lateral. With snowflakes. So Seth, what the hell are you working on? Your bike's all torn apart. I am doing maintenance. You're not doing maintenance. I think you're just watching Jake do the maintenance. He got down here before me today and he started working on it, but then I had to come down and step in and help take, him. take care of business. Help him figure out I what's going on. I didn't want to take the freaking shock off. Yeah, he wanted to try to do it the easy, but actually the hard way. Seth, is this true? Are you taking shortcuts? Shortcuts are no good. You know, he's, he's sh shooting shots at you. I don't care. Yeah. And you're just sitting it's there with true. your flip flops and you're not even, you're not even stunned. It's cause I beat him every race. So oh, right. I see. Yeah, cause you've been doing it like 10 more years than me, buddy. We've been racing the same amount of time. <laughs> had the exact bike. same amount How of time. How many more years have you had a dirt bike than me? How many? We're all fired up here. How much? It doesn't matter. We've been racing the same amount of time. No, it does matter. How much land you got to ride on? How much land? That doesn't matter on? either. It does, though. You can ride whatever you want. I can't. <laughs> now why is the beta torn apart? It just does. Because it's f***ing always f***ing breaking down. It's breaking down? <laughs> this is brand new 2017. I thing? actually, I'm, I'm do, I do like regular maintenance. I clean my air filter after every ride. That's why Seth's carburetor has all that junk in there. Is because his yeah, carburetor, his, his freaking air filter hasn't been cleaned in like 30 hours. Seth, is this true? That's why I have 190 hours on my top end and no issues. It still runs like a champ. What did you guys have this morning? He's just mad. Mountain Dew? Oh my oh god. Oh my god. There he goes again. He keeps coming back to this bull crap when I, he hasn't even raced me. But he just says his bike's faster. I oh, my you. bike's faster. I, I haven't raced you, but it's faster for sure, man. Jake, but we did race. We didn't race. We raced over there. We did not race. I Dalton. Did, did you guys have a race last weekend? Yeah. Yeah. Did you? What place did you come in? Ah, uh, third. So the Yamaha is faster, is that? No. It's not? If the Yamaha was faster, wouldn't they came oh in second? God. Don't. Not necessarily. No. Don't. We were down there, in, over there by the track the other day. We were doing whole shots, right? Okay. And starting going. Okay. And I was eating his bike. He, eating it right up. Eating it right up? Just tearing it apart? Yeah, but you know why? Because... Yeah, see, he did it <laughs> right there. He what? He did beat me. But a whole shot does not test the speed of the bike. It tests the skill of the start exactly. and the and speed of the bike. You definitely but guess what? No, every, in every race, Jake. But listen, it's we're doing whole shots, not the proper way. He's saying go. No. He's got the we upper both, advantage. We then we're throwing rocks, okay? But who's throwing the freaking rock? I'm throwing the freaking rock, so I'm throwing the rock in the air. Then I gotta get my foot on the starter, then start it. Who's got the disadvantage? I got the disadvantage. That's why he was beating me. Because every single race that we race, I take the whole shot over him. But his bike's faster. <laughs> his bike's faster. So is the is the uh, this whole video just gonna be talking about dirt bikes and whole shots? And we just named the video. The YZ is faster than the Beta. These guys got the shots. We're gonna have to race them after we get this in then. While the energy is up, we can break out some comments too on the uh, latest video, the Duramax being totaled. It's not totaled. <laughs> <laughs> Seth's in a good mood today. First comment under my pinned comment is, that's not even close to being total, WTF. That was uh, Ryan B. Ricky Stade says, I have parts, LOL, come on down. 
As a licensed insurance appraiser, that's not total, but definitely brings more views saying it is. Would they be happier if we put we like damaged or something? The Duramax is smashed or destroyed or. Be honest, you clickbaited those guys right into that. They all fell for it. <laughs> Seth, you're right, buddy. We got them. We got them. We got you guys. They fell right into that one. They again, fell the right into that year, trap. For the 15th time this year, they fell directly into that, <laughs> that clickbait trap. You got the views and you got paid. AJ1991, how are you still happy? I would be so pissed on the fresh paint too. Damn, man. I mean, it, when something like this happens, I mean, it just happens. You can't really be mad. And yes, I do have uh, insurance, so the insurance will, um, I'm not sure if they're going to cover all of it or if they're going to cover some of it. I did take it to a body guy, and um, and even if I didn't know the insurance stuff, I don't think I can disclose that. Do you guys know if I can disclose, like, insurance stuff? I have no idea. Congrats for 600K. Thank you. You're at 600K? Oh, yeah. He is copying... Should I clean it out? Logan Paul, can anyone see? Hey, did you guys know uh, Logan Paul uh, works on dirt bikes and four wheelers and, and cars and has a Duramax? Do you guys know that? Oh! Oh! Uh, we're, we're just gonna, we're gonna wrap this up. My battery is about to die, but like I said, we are running a 72 hour sale, 10% off of your entire purchase. We are bringing the Braptastic decal back and we're going to put one on Jake's famous green tote. What is this thing called, the toolbox? That thing. The link for the sale will be in the description. It's at machinemerch.com. Seth, you got that? Not Seth. All, all the new parts fell out. <laughs> you don't need them anyway. Weight reduction. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks really good there. That popped nice. Nice! Look at that popping. The rest of the bike has disappeared, but that's popping. Seth's already putting it on Instagram. Did you see how muddy this bike was? You want to know why it's muddy? Because he was in the back eating mine. <laughs> Oh my god! Yes! Fire! He's got more skill. Holy yeah. shit. Like eight years of experience on me. Eight years, probably. Oh, Jay, how long have you got dirt bike? Like 10? How long have I had I was like 19 when I got my dirt bike. Yeah, but you had motorcycle. It's way different. I didn't get serious into it until the same time you did. And I think we were all at like the same skill level before we started racing, and then I think I yeah, just got better. Cruising on down Main Street. Just leaving Jake's, I can't believe that they're already playing Christmas music. What is wrong with these people? I think it would be in everybody's best interest if I actually just go over the entire story again. So that is, I was going down the interstate, I was going to Street Speed's event, his drag race event, and I was taking the Duramax, my brother was in the vehicle with me. So I'm driving along, I'm from New York of course, so I get into Pennsylvania and they welcome me with this nice green sign and I go through Pennsylvania for a couple miles and I couldn't help but notice that there's deer all over the highway. They, I think they need a longer deer season there. I'm like, holy cow man, they must go through a deer every you know hour. Well, I was that deer per hour. I saw a six point or an eight point. I, I made eye contact with him right about here. I don't know if my wheels sucked him in or not, but somehow he didn't damage anything on the front. We'll work our way back. Something ran right here, and then it cracked the Bondo. As you guys know, I hit a pole, so the Bondo, this was to fill that dent. This dent used to be way caved in. We did a damn good job, in my opinion, of repairing that. But there's definitely a dent right here. Can you guys see the, yeah, you can see that. That's supposed to be way out here. So the deer obviously bent this bracket right here, bent this bracket right here, caved this right in. This is supposed to be way out here. That's a good probably four or five inches. And then the deer hit the bumper and ripped. So after I got home, I went to my insurance company and they said, okay, take it up to where you want to get repaired. So that's exactly what I did. I went to the guy who did the hood and the passenger door. So he checked it out. He gave the insurance company a quote, I'm just waiting on them. But even him, he's like, what happened to your bumper? I'm like, the deer. He's like, the deer did that? I'm like, yeah, the deer did that. When you have a badass Duramax going down the highway and a deer decides to jump in front of it because, uh, you know, it, it just got a new paint job, this is what's gonna happen. And he's like, uh, you're gonna have to come up with some proof that the deer did that. I'm like, dude, when I recorded that, there was a bunch of blood and hair on that thing. 
Great. So the Duramax hopefully will get fixed up. Hopefully the insurance company takes care of me because I take care of them monthly when I pay my bills. Okay, enough of the insurance stuff. I can't show you a certain project because I wanna do a complete build and I wanna show you guys a start to finish in within one month. Instead of dragging this on and you know making a video every day or every couple days. And then the last update, you guys saw the, my town actually like flooding but you didn't see the clip of the water. The water is usually about this deep and I'll actually just play this clip right now. It's usually only like that deep, but now it's like seven or eight feet. So we were in deep crap that night, but luckily the water went down. I think 2009 it was, so eight years ago. It hit the fan, and that's how I learned how to fix stuff for the first time. Everybody was throwing out their lawnmowers and stuff, so that was the time that I took advantage of it and made the good out of the bad. Learned how to fix stuff, and that's how we are where we are today. It's crazy that sewage water gave me my living. Saying that, find the good and the bad no matter what it is. If you hit a deer in your vehicle, you know, look at the bright side. If sewage water starts flooding your town, look at the bright side. If you crash your bike and scrape your wrist, look at the bright side. I hope you guys enjoyed this update. Once we get some gator parts in, we're gonna start filming the gator a little bit more. I'll let you know about what happens with the Duramax and you'll see that secret project sooner than you think. So stay froggy fresh, stay super fly, make your life move like a well-oiled machine. Look at the bright side. Until next time. 3D Machines out. Yeah.